Hi, I'm Julie Goodwin, and the recipe I want to show you now is cauliflower cheese. It is a family favourite at my place, but the reason I want to show it to you is not just because people will demolish it, but also because the cheese sauce is a bechamel based sauce, which you can use for a bunch of different things. Okay, so first of all, we're going to steam the cauliflower. And to do that, you just want to take out the heart of it, or the butt of it, whichever you like to think of it as. So in there, kind of like you would for an iceberg lettuce, I guess. Take that out. Save those bits for your chooks if you've got them. And then you're going to cut it into nice big sort of florets, or like bunches of flowers there. So. So once you've cut it up, you're going to arrange it into a casserole dish, a fairly small one, about eight cup capacity, like that, and that fits neatly one head of cauliflower. Of course, if you're having lots of people around, do more because everyone's going to want some of this. So pop it in, and you want the decorative side, the flowery side, to sort of be up, and the stalks to be down, so that when you cook it all up, it looks beautiful. Now, if you prefer to steam your cauliflower on the stove, you, you arrange it in the dish afterwards. But what I like to do is put it into the microwave. And there's enough moisture in that for it to steam itself. You don't need to add water or anything like that. So you just pop it in to your casserole dish, a bit of cling wrap over the top. And that's going to need eight to 10 minutes in the microwave. So now we're going to make this cheese sauce. It's a bechamel based sauce and it's really, really versatile. So it's the same sauce I would use for lasagna or a tuna mornay. Uh, if you've got some left over from this recipe, keep it in the fridge, heat it up and pour it over your steamed veggies another night. It's really, really yummy. Good on pasta too. So all we're gonna do here is a bit of butter and a bit of flour into a pan. So we're gonna melt that butter and add in some flour that all together. And what happens is that becomes sort of a frothy, doughy mass. And to turn that into sauce, we're going to add milk. And the secret here is to just add the milk a little bit, like a quarter of a cup at a time. And this way, you don't even need to use a whisk. You'll end up with a perfectly smooth, lump-free cheese sauce. So the flour is cooking out the whole way through. So you see that come together like a bit of a, a dough. And then in goes your milk, a little bit, quarter of a cup at a time. And then you just stir that until it comes back together like that. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? And you just keep doing that until you've used all your milk. So you can see there, if I'd added more milk than that, it'd be really hard to mix that floury mixture through. There it goes. Beautiful. Silky smooth. That's called a roux. R-O-U-X. It's a white roux. So look at that, beautiful, silky, no lumps at all. I'm going to add in a really good pinch of white pepper. A good pinch of salt. And a bit of Dijon mustard. Now you can vary that, you can pop in um, grainy mustard if you'd like a grainy sauce. But what I find is that this adds a lot of flavour to it without sort of adding anything else. Just a bunch of flavour, really nice. And what you've got there is a lovely white sauce that you can use for a number of different things. But next I'm going to add a stack of cheese so that it's nice and cheesy for our cauliflower. So about 200 grams, like, let's go a little bit nuts here. A 
and just stir that until it melts. So the cheese sauce is cooked, very simple now to assemble. With the cauliflower that I've microwaved, all you're looking for is for it to be al dente. It doesn't have to be completely soft because we're gonna bake it and that'll cook it a little bit more. But you don't want your cauliflower cheese to be crunchy. So I'm gonna generously ladle that cheese sauce over. And the quantity I've made here, you could get away with making half of it for this dish, um, but I do love to have some in the fridge for other things. All right, so what you wanna do is make sure that every bit of that cauliflower is coated with cheese sauce, and then a bit more cheese on top, just because cheese. You know, I always say there's no such thing as too much cheese, and I haven't been proven wrong yet. So that's gonna go into a nice hot oven for around about 15 minutes until it's golden and bubbling on top, and then it's ready to serve. Look at that. And it doesn't matter what else is on the table in my house, this will be the most popular dish. Beautiful, cheesy, golden, hot, and lovely cauliflower cheese. You'll find this recipe in Our Family Table, which is my very first cookbook from a long time ago, but you can buy it on my website with a whole bunch of other yummy family meals like this.